We, they, they came, uh, jumped out, you know, when they jumped out to their league, uh, you know, we had to make plays. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're one of these teams, this, this league, you know, I've said it all year, most of the coaches have said it all year, you know, someone has to be number one, someone has to be number ten, um, but there's not much difference. Uh, maybe Nova's a little different, but everyone else is not much different, so, you know, you forget looking at the numbers, you have to play, you have to play well to win every night. And they came out and they played with a sense of purpose and their execution. I thought Creighton's execution uh, was, was, was at a high level today. And so we got to the point when we need someone uh, to step up and you've heard me say all year, well, when we need baskets, everyone knows who we're going to. Um, and one of these two is usually him. Um, and so he answered today. What was Creighton doing defensively today? Bothered you a little bit, shot just 38% today. Yeah, you know they, they do a good job. They they were focused. They were they were they were extremely aggressive um, uh, with how they played, uh, uh, and and it was it was effective. It was effective. And so then then you get to thinking about that. Then we got a few shots that I think we normally make that we didn't make, and then all of a sudden you get tight. Um, but it was just calls. It was called by their communication, their aggressiveness. Over on the right, Rich. Yeah, coach. A, a sense of relief, or does this kind of tight game? Give you reason for optimism or anything like that moving ahead? I mean, is this can it be both? I'm sorry. <laughs> can it be both? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you know, to get, to get the first win, it is a sense of relief. Um, but it, but we are optimistic going forward. Um, and so now we have to watch this game. Uh, they're going to play a very good team. Whichever one wins tomorrow. Over here on the left. Just um, patience and your poison they want to really be up in the place. I'm sorry, what was the last call that said they wanted to work? They wanted to have a physical one. What did you say the first time? You <laughs> were. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you. I mean, I was trying to be patient. I, I had three turnovers. You know, that was on me. But going into the game, we did it in a double team. And um, we were just trying to find my teammates. Right here in the middle. Uh, Devontae, it's that three-pointer you hit with about five minutes to play. What was your thought process on that when you hit him with the, the hesitation move? Were you were you always going to shoot it, or did you think that you might take it to the floor? Or just what was your thought process there? I mean, at that point, they were uh, on the run, and you know, I, I really just wanted to make a play, and you know, the guys were, were looking for me to make something happen. So you know, at that point, I was going to do. In front, Mark. Devontae, can you talk about you had beaten these guys, I think, by a com combined 42 points in the previous two. Did, were you surprised at what you saw out of them today, and, and what do they do differently? Uh, not at all. I mean, they played you know, a lot faster today. Uh, their transition was really well, and they, uh, on defense, they were really physical. And I knew today, you know, we beat them two times uh, previously. So, you know, third time, you know, it's like, it, I mean, it's hard to beat anybody three times in, in a year. So uh, we knew they were going to come out tough, and, you know, they, they, they definitely earned it. Somewhat of respect. In the middle, then. <clears throat> Devontae uh, Milliken had 17 points at the four point play, hadn't missed a shot the first mm -hmm. 20 something minutes. I don't think he scored, though, after that. What was uh, the key for you guys ultimately to figure out a way to slow him down a little uh, Just communicating. I mean, talking on defense. I know we lost him a few times and he got a lot of good looks at the basket, but, you know, he, he's a good player and, I mean, he's, he's going to make you know make shots and then we, we let him get off early and you know, that's what he continued to do. Over on the right, Ted. Coach, talk to us about your decision to go zone late. Your guys really executed in an outstanding manner. Your call to switch to zone. They really had trouble getting looks when you went home. Yeah, I, I, they were they were getting too many easy looks to get some man to man. Um, and they were putting us in difficult situations. And so, you know, usually, you know, I guess conventional wisdom says when you play against a team that can shoot like they do, you don't go zone. Um, but you know, we, 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 we did today and it worked uh, at least to our benefit. Right here, Ben. Devontae, coach mentioned the um, sense where we gave the first win, the way things were done in previous postseasons, and you feel the same way, yeah, especially when you guys are down. For sure, there. for sure. I mean, last year, you know, we, we went down the first game to DePaul, and, you know, we watched the game yesterday, and we didn't know, you know, who, to, who we were going to play. So at that point, uh, you know, that game kind of, you know, played over and over again in our head, and then, you know, Creighton ended up winning, and we knew it would be tough against them also.